Hello everybody, this is Mr. Cool Gamer signing in to say welcome back. Last time we just got into KLM. This time I'm going to be uh, doing some things. First and foremost, we are going to have a bit of combat in this uh, episode. So, for the love of God, Marek put on some fucking armor. <laughs> You're going to be squish. Then squish does not go well. Uh, now, for sake of this, we are entering a stealth mode. There is a reason for this. Uh, there be shit up ahead. I've played this game enough time, I've played this opening enough times, so that I know there's going to be some major, major shite. And we don't want to trigger all at once. Eric, you're going there. You are going... Actually, you are going to pull out your arrow. And the guys are going to go... Oh, never mind. Well, Max has got uh, still stealth, so we're, we're good. Tutorial taking cover. Yes, battlefields are often fine. Walls, barricades, and other setting elements display a shield icon. Essentially, a half cover uh, gives my enemies minus two penalty to hit. With range attacks, of course, you have to be in the other side of the cover. Three quarters of cover gives uh, minus five penalty. Four cover means you cannot be targeted, which is bloody useful, people. Uh, this does not, does not affect melee attacks or area effect spells. Uh, and we can utilize our inventory and fill these slots. Again, useful. That goblin is officially dead. I'm going to put you there. You're going to probably be spotted straight away. Uh, but I don't need you running. Marek, you are squish. You are the definition of mage and squish, and your AC is only 14. You are going to get hit, my dear. Now, can you cast something? Yes, you can. And you can cast that at that. Goblin skirmishes. What went wrong there? Ah, uh, buggery. Yeah, Marek is known about, so that's not going to go well for her. Uh, and my brain, he's not exactly going to be... Uh, brain's going to be here just in case uh, they start doing anything. Ready a melee action in case they get to do anything untoward towards Marek. They probably will, but I'm just getting, uh, no, getting my people into position. And uh, Goblin Skirmisher, take this. Good Goblin Skirmisher, taking that. Not much else I can do for right now. Alright. The rest of them are currently not aware of position right in the zone. Let's see if you can actually gather some intel intelligence. Ah, uh, that thing's got full cover. Ready, a ranged attack if you see anything. Marek. Um, they've got a comment here. Over there. 
Taking a short rest is a uh, useful way to recover while exploring dungeons. Of course, use it whenever you're far enough away from the enemies. Though this may be impossible in very hostile location, the party will must be together. The uh, yada yada yada. It's also useful if you need to use some abilities like arcane boost. Where did those goblins come from? Some hole in the mountain, I guess. Oh, I think you're going to have your sword and shield back out because bloody hells. As always, pick up what you feel you're going to need, especially in Artix's case he needs his javelins back. The rest we can essentially uh, keep for, well, keep a scammer to trash. Artix is going to need his javelins back. That much is just a clear know-how. Not going to need another scimitar. I think we got everything. Let's check, make sure that we got that goblin shit. I think we did, but I just want to check. Uh. Yep, we got everything we need. Scavengers will come back and sell the rest of it, this to us. So, as long as we get out of here alive, that is. Now, the next thing. There is a, there is a dungeon down here. A side dungeon. And, well, side dungeon slash sliding encounter. We're going to be doing it. Lair of Filth. News quest started. Everyone into caution mode. Because, uh, we're about to need it. As before, we crawl for... for blah, crawl. There we go. English. English school. Damn, it stinks. We should be cautious, cautious from, now. from now on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of you saying at the same time. To be fair, they are level two. This area does become usable for a few other uh, situations later on. So, falling hazards. Uh, essentially, if you want to hit things with stalactites or stalagmites, very, very useful. This area is also extremely, extremely dark. So, we are going to have to be very, very stealthy. Well, correction. My ranger is going to be, have to be very, very stealthy. There's Goblin Skirmisher there. Common skirmisher there. Let's see if we can find all, because I think there's a few of them. Still, we don't want the archers to be uh, in the know. Merrick, I am going to want you there. Brain, I'm going to want you there. And Artex, uh, if I can get you over there, that would be much appreciated. want them just in good positions to not be seen while at the same time. 
good positions to start a fight in. Alright, that goblin archer up there. <coughs> thing. Ah, there's the other goblin. Now, they haven't seen us yet. Uh, two of them. Okay. That one's a surprise. That one's also a copy. Okay. Hang on to me. Well, not here it seems. Okay, good to know, good to know. Cover. What? Yeah. Well, right, it's good because he is the only healer right now. Well, not the only healer, but I'd rather not. Oh, uh, gods, yes. Visual glitches. Disengage, run away. That's a smart goblin. Let's go up there. And not glitch out, please. Thank you. Switch to bow and arrow. Step up there so I can see both of them. Don't have 
so much. And we completed the layer of fill. And honestly, not a bad outcome. Now there is a reason why I wanted to do this, other than just, you know, free experience. This spot becomes, well, a fast travel point. You might be going, fast travel? Yeah, we can fast travel into any locations we found in the map. Uh, since we'll be coming back to these locations a little bit... <coughs> excuse me off the gas there. But yeah, since we'll be coming back to these locations a little bit, it's a good idea to, you know, explore and do shit. Uh, thankfully, the scavengers also do come into these dungeons, so it's all good. Because it is technically still an area. Ooh, now these. Now, there is one thing I didn't mention about the scavengers uh, coming into places. They don't necessarily come to places that... Well, they don't necessarily loot, I, loot from chests. So if you find chests that are too far to reach, etc., or you can't open, guess what? The scavengers can't open. So you ain't getting that loot if it's, you know, still locked up tight or still not discovered. The scavengers only go as far as you found on the map. So, good to... Good to note, but also chests contain some of the best shit in the game, so as always, if you see a chest, open it up. Uh, one javelin and an arrow. You are going to need that, my lady. Actually, what does she have as lo a bow? Long bow, okay, so we can't get you a better bow. Well, at least not for now. There's still loot, so I'll be right back with you lot if there's anything interesting. Ooh, 20 arrows, a primed dagger, okay. And a notebook page and scroll of sleep. Alright, so, first and foremost, Marek, you're taking that scroll. I don't know if you've got uh, sleep in your spellbook, let's have a look. Uh, no, you do not, I remember I did not actually give that to you. Also give you that. Primed dagger is also going in your own tree, and so is the angry violet, but the arrows are going with our ever-faithful ranger. And uh, you can, no, wait. Arctic, you want the one with the crossbow. Brain, you're the one with the crossbow. But your arrows can go to there. And let's reorder. So, you might be going, Primed Dagger, what does that do? Well, Primed Daggers are essentially the game's way of saying this dagger can be enchanted. It's useful, it certainly is. Uh, Essentially, if we have the right recipe and the right time, we can craft the daggers into big... Well, not just daggers, we can craft anything that's primed in because it's got the right quality of material to take an enchantment. That being said, the shit is rare. <laughs> like, you're gonna find it in very select shops and usually not all the good shit. Also, while we will find other... again. This is the early access, so the final game might have uh, <coughs> more, I should clarify. But right now, Prime shit is incredibly rare, and the supplies for it are also not incredibly common. Again, Enchanted Dagger isn't that great of an idea, but we would have to sit down and craft, and that would be a few long rests. But now... Dive in the dirt now! Yep, we've completed the layer of fill. And I think we're going to... Well, I think we should uh, explore this area a bit more properly. There is a chest up there. We've looted the two containers in there. We can fast travel always back to the Goblin Cave if we need to. Though, only when we're on this map. Anyway, next time we'll be exploring more of this uh, fort and figuring out what the hell has happened. If they have goblins, did they get overrun by goblins? That's almost embarrassing. But anyway... This mystical gamer signing out to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.